It's time for the KSNT Sports Award-winning Football Frenzy with Pete Francis and Sully Engels. Welcome to Football Frenzy. Pete Francis, Sully Engels, another Centennial League matchup for the game of the week. Oh, yeah. Junction City and Topeka High. Always a good one, Pete, but it's different this season. This is a new Junction City team. Yeah, let's take you to Junction City. The student section ready to go, a great crowd on hand, and it was homecoming tonight, and the fans getting quite a show. All Junction City up 40 nothing after the end of the first half. The Blue Jays' defense in top form. Randall Banks with the interception. You can take this to the bank, mm -hmm. to the money. end zone. That's a pick six, and the Blue Jays continue to roll. Later, it's TJ Jones on the carry from Andrew Corey. He's in for the score. Junction City, they take this one big in the game of the week, 54-20. It feels really good that we're doing so well in our league right now, league championship. That was our main goal. That was one of our main goals. So it was just a good thing to know that we're undefeated in league. A couple games left, a couple tough games left. But it's just nice to know that we don't have to worry about other people's wins or losses. We just have to worry about us and the road is set for us. I feel great. We stay disciplined. We listen to coaches. We, we come together as one. Our word is together. That's what we've been doing and that's what we're going to continue to do. And the Blue Jays get Emporia next week. It's a good time to be a Blue Jay fan. How about another team that's hot? Seaman on the road in Emporia looking to keep the win streak alive. And this helps deep in Spartan territory. Kaysen Stahlbomber does the rest. He punches that in. And the Vikings have an early lead. More from them. How about some Reed Cowan? Get him up in the highlights. He seems to be in it every week. Why not I'd now? I'd say so. Uh -huh. Finds his tight end for the score, Braden Colley. He's a big target. He is, man. It always helps. And it's a three-score game. They're going to do it on defense, too. Let me tell you that. You know why? Because I cut the highlights, so I know what's coming. <laughs> Caden Ireland with the pick. Kind of a mesmerizing one right there. I don't know who caught it at first, but he gets it, returns it to the house. That's good for six, sir. Vikings win this one big, 59-3. to three. Yeah, Ireland's got some hands, mm -hmm. man. Let's go to Washburn Rural. Didn't feel like driving there, so yeah, it's the nice job. to have the chopper, you know. Get that a chopper. Yeah, the Junior Blues get on the board first. Giles Fredrickson knocks in three points. He's got a heck of a leg. Oh, there. yeah. Get him to the next level. Manhattan responds. Dane Ashenbrenner at running back. And this is a good move. 34 yeah. yards to the house. 7-3 Manhattan. Later, it's the defense recovering the fumble. And Manhattan takes advantage. Keenan Schartz at quarterback. Keeps it himself for the score. Manhattan wins. Get this. In overtime, 32-31 on a Grant Snowden two-point conversion. Clutch right there. How about we go to Hayden making a look at four wins in a row at home against Santa Fe Trail. They say scoring early helps. Well, how about the first dang play of the game? Jameer Garrett, get it and go, young fella. Takes the opening kick to the house. He's fast. That may or may not be speed up. I'm going to let you judge at home. I think it's him. It could be. You never know. We'll have to find out later. And how about this later in the game? Santa Fe Trail trailing, but this interception is going to help a little bit. And a nice return on top of that. Ryan Weekly, your weekly he's highlight. He's really also, fast, too. I can't tell if it's sped up or not. These are just TV these, magic these kids moments. kids are really fast. And I'm they don't impressed. get it going on offense, though. And if you don't get it going on offense, this is going to happen soon enough. Desmond Purnell, this cut is nasty. That's illegal in about 28 states. I did the research. you got to trust me. He takes that one to the house. Don't have to up the speed for him. You he's, don't. Just, he's already got you it. You don't. And the kids love it as well. And how about this Garrett again? They told him this is his first touchdown of his career to start the game. Gets a pick six as well. Hayden wins this one 49 to 14. Good day to be a cat. I'd say so. Perry LeCompton looking to stay perfect against Osawatomi. When you need to run the ball, go to Reich and Rush. Literally He'll get the job name. done. Just literally his name. 34 yards for the house. Yeah, just a great name. Cause do it on defense too, Jackson. Folks, he's going to force the fumble and cause. They down him in the end zone for a safety just because that's what they do. Yeah, Make it 9 0. Absolutely. We just score. We like it. Thad Metcalf making the transition to quarterback. I'd say he's doing pretty well. <laughs> the touchdown pass to Caden Quinlan. I didn't know he had an arm like that. I haven't seen him throw yet. So many great names. And Sully, who would you rush with if you wanted to score I'm on the ground? I'm going to go back to Mr. Rush. Yeah, Rush finishing things off with the rushing score. Cause win big, 58-6. to six. What a rush for the cause right there. This might have been the game of the night. A crazy one. Highland Park in Topeka West. Scott's looking to break a 54-game losing streak. Travion Prosper just outstanding in this one. On defense here, he gets the Prospering, interception. Prospering, man. He really is blossoming at the right time. Breaking, rumbling, stumbling, gets inside their red zone. And he's also the quarterback, too, so he takes that in. 
looking to get the Scots their first win in just about six seasons. That's going to help right there. It's a two score lead. Things looking promising, but as great as they played is West. Malachi Berg takes it in here for the score, and he'd score again with just four seconds left in the game. That gives T West the win in this one. They break the Scots' heart. They get 59 58 at Hummer. Wow. Heck of a game by both teams there. Crazy, man. Now let's just keep it going. How about them dogs? Rossville on the road at Pleasant Ridge, and they're doing what they do. Don't call him Woody because his mama calls him Woodrow. Woodrow Rezac with a Russian attack. He takes it over 50 yards to the house, but he's just getting warmed up. A little later, closer this time, but the same result. Rezac finds the end zone, and the dogs are up two scores. Hope you started him in I your two-way fantasy league. He's got to be a starter by now. I got He's a lot of Rossville guys in my fantasy team. If you didn't start him, this guy is also good. Bo Reeves, usually we see Big him on Bo? offense. Doing it on defense this time. The big fella with the pick six. Dog Cruz to the victory. They take it 69-6. to six. A very nice win You know what that there. deserves, Sully? <laughs> well, Bark's a little weird right now. Yeah, yeah that is. I got to mix it up. You got to <laughs> work on that, Sully. Anyway, let's go elsewhere tonight. Silver Lake tops to McLeod. 49-8, Council Grove falls to Riley County, 61-6, Falcons flying high. DeSoto beats Shawnee Heights, 63-21, holding it high, Wathen Holden wins it big, 60-nothing. Nemaha Central beats Baldwin, 33-zip, Rock Creek tops Jeff West, 60-12, Bishop Miege over Wamigo, 41-14, St. Mary's falls to Republic County, 40-0. Carrier Paravella and Axtell. Axtell wins that one 70 to 20. A lot of scoring there. Clifton Clyde at Hanover. Hanover takes it 40 to 20. So this was a pretty interesting mm. night, Sully. I think yeah. Perry LeCompton with a really great showing again yeah, tonight. Heck of a game. Manhattan, Washburn, Rural, and then the Topeka West Highland Park game. Crazy game. Hayden as well. Very good. So a lot of great football today. All right. Well, we've got K-State playing tomorrow. So coming up, we're going to preview the weekend for them. You're watching Football Frenzy. Aerial coverage sponsored by MT Helicopter Solutions.